I'm Andrew and today we're going to be talking about some refrigerant small can design changes. R134A is the most common refrigerant in the industry right now, but newer vehicles are starting to utilize R1234YF refrigerant. R1234YF cans have some different features than R134A cans, which includes the amount of refrigerant in the can, the type of threading on the cans and can taps, and some are self-sealing, meaning the excess refrigerant is kept in the can after a recharge process is complete. The first thing I'd like to point out is that R1234YF cans have different amounts of refrigerant in them. Some cans have 8 ounces while other cans have 12 ounces, so make sure to check this before you recharge the system in order to prevent undercharging or overcharging. Another feature is that the can tap threading for R1234YF cans are different from traditional R134A cans. While R134A cans have a right-handed thread, R1234YF cans have a left-handed thread. This is to prevent a mix-up between the two different kinds of can taps. R134A caps will not fit R1234YF cans. The main feature of the new R1234YF cans is that some are self-sealing, meaning that excess refrigerant is kept stored in the can and not released in the atmosphere, like traditional cans that require a can tap that utilizes a needle. New can taps that are used on self-sealing cans have a flat depressor rod that allows the can to be opened and sealed after use. To recap, R1234YF cans can hold different amounts of refrigerant, are threaded differently, and some are self-sealing, which requires a new can tap. For a complete list of service items needed for installation, check out GPD Tech Tip number 109. For more GPD Tech Tips, please visit gpdtechtips.com.